Welcome to the RPN LP Exhibition Episode 38. Today I'll be playing Street Fighter Alpha. A game which supposedly was going to be the remake of the original Street Fighter. But here's a few differences. First of all, most of the characters from Street Fighter 2 and the original Street Fighter have returned. Like for instance, M. Bison, Akuma, Ryu. Yes, M. Bison and Akuma are in this game, but they're unlockable bosses. Sagat and Chun Li are all in this game. Also, we're introduced to Saddam from Final Fight, I do believe. Yes, Final Fight. And so is Guy. I do believe Adon was in Street Fighter. And I know Birdie for a fact was, but I do believe Adon was in the original Street Fighter. But someone who's relatively new to this series is Charlie, the faster version of Guile. I'm planning on taking on this game with Sagat, because obviously Sagat's one of my favorite characters. It's fun to play as him, but it's not fun to play against him. And what I'm doing is the reason why. Just spam. Hold still. Bastard. Oh well. It's just gonna get better from here. Ah, Birdie. Probably one of the characters that will be appearing in every single alpha game. Trust me, Birdie can be really cheap if you know how to use him. They gave him a damn good new look! I mean, Birdie didn't have his chain in the original Street Fighter. He just used the head button to power bomb. I think he did. Yeah, he did. Damn it! I thought that got him! Notice my attempt to use Tiger Genocide in the last fight. I pull it off in this fight and then I hit countered. Lovely. I will pull that damn move off eventually. It's only a matter of time. I don't really need to find out anything else to say. This is a really good basic game. They don't have any of the alpha counters like they did in the other game. But at least the tiger shot is... Much more slower than what it is in the other game. God damn it! That's twice in a row! I'm serious, man. I will get that move off eventually. But still, Sagat is a beast. I like him. He's cool. And also, one of my favorite characters is in this game. Which is Guy! Guy's fucking awesome. He is actually my favorite character in this game. I mean, he, he's even more of a favorite than Akuma. Go figure. Because Guy is just fast, I love his theme song, and more importantly... <clears throat> I like the fact that he can literally jump over projectiles just to grab his opponent and slam them on the ground. God forbid I abused many of my friends in Street Fighter 4 with this particular character with that particular move. Because Guy is that freaking awesome. Ouch. I'll get you eventually, Guy. And Guy is one of the characters from Final Fight that I was talking about that actually had a role in this game. Or made the cut to this game, one of the two. We'll be seeing more Final Fight characters in later games. Like Rolento and eventually Cody. Damn it! He got partially hit with it! What the hell? I will pull that move off eventually! My god. I will do it! Oh yeah, I almost forgot. The newest character of this game also, Rose. How can I forget Rose? Rose is relatively a broken character. For one, she can reflect just about everyone's projectiles back at him, except for Sagat. She'll just, like, block it. But everyone else? 
Yeah, that kind of shows how overpowered Sagat is. But everyone else, she'll just deflect them back at him. Updukins? No problem. Yoga Fire? Eventually Dawson will be in the next game? No problem. And I finally pulled that move off! It's been three freaking fights, well four now, and I finally pull off Tiger Genocide! Yes! I love that move! Oh, that's the other thing. You're now introduced to level three special moves. Now I can use three special moves as opposed to, well, super arts, as opposed to one like in Hyper Street Fighter 2. Turbo and Hyper Street Fighter 2. Oh, and by the way, I do have the game, but it's too hard for me to play. Anyway, it's Charlie. As everybody knows to him in Japan as Nash. This is the guy that Bison kills. Apparently. And this is the guy that Guile wants to beat the hell out of Bison for, to avenge the death of. Tar well, Charlie's an awesome character. He's like Guile, except his sonic boom is faster, and his flash kick is faster as well. And yes, Guile will eventually be in the Alpha series as well, but as a secret character. But nonetheless, Charlie's theme is probably one of my favorites also. And now for one of my least favorite characters. I fucking hate this guy! I hate a Don with a passion! I can just cheese him to death if I want to, but he'll just jump over my projectile! I fucking hate this guy! Ugh! Damn you, Don! You suck! I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you! Yeah, Adon is pretty much annoying to play as. Cause most of his moves, you have to, you know, bounce him back on the- No. What I'm trying to say is, his move will rebound him off of the wall and attack enemies. Oh god damn it, Adon! Just die! And his Jaguar Tooth! For some reason, has a golly ranged. I don't know why. I hate that move. And I mean, here's the spammer of anti spammers. And what do I mean by that? Real simple. Spam a fireball, he'll spam the jaguar kick. Spam a fireball, he'll spam the jaguar tooth. Spam the hurricane kick, he'll spam both of those moves. And he'll also spam the stupid knee attack. But for God's sakes, Adon's move hurts like a freaking truck. I hate this guy. I know you guys are sick of time me saying I hate Adon, but seriously, I hate Adon. And I'm not too fond of Dalsum either. Christ. Oh come on! You didn't have to fucking block that, you bastard! Sorry for the swearing. This will probably be the first of many losses. And by many, I mean three. Or should I say two? Or something like that. No wait, that's the other game. That's what I'm thinking of. I'm just gonna fucking cheese him to death. I don't care. Just die, Adon! I don't care! Just die! I have you know this is also on medium difficulty, too. Yet, I was doing fine until I run into this prick! Oh, the thing about this game, M. Bison is not the final boss of this game! Ironically, you have to meet certain conditions for him to be, or at least play the game as Rose. You deserve that, motherfucker! Oh, and for the record, whenever you do a super move, there's three sets of buttons. High punch, low punch, and well, high punch, low kick. Okay, let me rephrase that. I'm trying to calm down here. High punch, low punch, medium punch, and high kick, low kick, medium kick. Each level of, uh, 
super arts that you're gonna use will depend on how many buttons you push. For uh, level one, it's one button. For level two, it's two buttons. For level three, it's all three. And depending on what button, well, all three of whatever type of button it is. Ha! You did that prematurely, Ken. Speaking of Ken, he has his ponytail now in this game. Of course, I'll be using this model in uh, further crossovers with Marvel and... Also, I think, crossover with... Uh, no, 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 it's crossover with Marvel, just Marvel. Because in crossover with SNK, he doesn't have his ponytail. It's all good. And I get hit by... Oh, God, he's got me trapped in a corner! Oh, motherfucker! I gotta get out of this corner! That works. Death by Tiger Shot, bitch! Ooh, that was so close. So, who's left? Ah, uh, fuck! This guy! You scarred me, and you sealed your fate. Now the scales will be balanced. You took my honor, and I'll destroy you. You just don't get it, do you? Shut up! I won't lose this time! Ugh! And yes, like in every Street Fighter game, Ryu is cheap! Very, very cheap when used by the AI! Screw you, Ryu! Okay, that's the first round. I gotta get him. I gotta end this! Before this becomes really brutal. Oh shit. Oh damn it. Premature Tiger Crutch. Damn it. Alright, come on, Sagat. Come on. One more hit, he's done. Oh shit. Yes. That's right! Spamming doesn't always save you, Ryu! And it's done! Revenge is a dish best served cold. But now that I've defeated Ryu... Why do I feel so empty? Why did he look at me with pity? Ryu is a man of honor. Perhaps he held back. Ryu would not do that, would he? I must know if he fought with all he had. Well, his strength. Sagat, give up this foolish vendetta! You've won! Now, Sagat, if you wish to be feared, you must master Psycho Power! And that's the only appearance of Vega and Balrog in this game! Oh, I love Alpha! Even though Alpha didn't have all the characters that it will eventually have by the time Alpha 3 came up, it's still a good game! Granted, when it got ported to the Super Nintendo, uh, the music was a little bit off. But of course, this game was also on a Sega Saturn and a PS1. And needless to say, those versions are much more superior than the Super Nintendo. Even the arcade version is superior. There's even a part in Dramatic Battle, well, a mode called Dramatic Battle, where you're fighting with your, yourself and a partner of your choice to take on the entire game with Bison being the last boss! Specifically if you're Ken and Ryu. Nonetheless, this is a fun and enjoyable game, and I'm glad I played this. And as you can see, this isn't the first time I've abused this game, and it ain't gonna be the last. And in the next episode, I'll be taking on one of my personal favorites, Street Fighter Alpha 2. This is RVMan985, see you guys in the next episode.